Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. This is the third video in the chapter number 13, the chapter titled Microwave Measurements. So in this chapter, we are going to have the measurement techniques understood for the various parameters to be the performance metrics of microwave propagation in the microwave test bench here. So very first of all, we started this chapter to see the low frequency measurement versus the microwave frequency measurements. So the changes we have reported as we go for the lumped elements to be of the distributed type here, the exact calculation of the voltages and the current values intended to make power calculations are not possible there. So therefore, we have to directly associate it with the power value while working at microwave frequency levels here. The frequency measurements that we have reported after that we have also introduced to the microwave component the popular one which gets us the possibility to make measurement that it is the slotted line and now let us have the another one called as tunable detector. So here we start with our topic. The topic is titled Introduction to Tunable Detector here. So as the name of this particular component is Tunable Detector, the second term at the end is Detector which means that it is detecting something. So here we are intended to make the measurements with respect to the microwave signal the energy and power of microwave signal. So it is going to detect the measurement for the voltage or current generally we say for the low frequency to be at the microwave frequency the energy levels in general we can see here. Of course it is tunable to have the measurements detected with the precise values hence the name tunable detector. Just now we are accomplished with the introduction to the slotted line here. So the slotted line is having a movable assembly so that we can have the measurement at any of the location inside the slotted rectangular waveguide in general. So it is with the help of tunable probe and further the tunable detector here. Now adding the exact information regarding the tunable detector it is used for the detection of low frequency square wave modulated microwave signal here and the use in the tunable detector is of we have non reciprocal detector diode While understanding the chapters associated with the microwave energy generation onto the semiconductor platform, we have gone through the learnings of the various diodes there. So out of the family that we have seen a lot of member there, we have here a point contact point contact type or metal semiconductor short key barrier diode the short key barrier diode can be abbreviated as sbd also so this is used inside the cavity of the slotted rectangular waveguide and it can be tuned to measure the various energy levels associated with the microwave signal that is propagating through it hence the name tunable detector so with the help of one schematic diagram we can get it introduced properly so this is the schematic diagram in the schematic diagram you can see there are four components here we can name these four components one by one so you can see this particular component this we can regard as small a part of the figure here and this is nothing but the tunable probe. So this tunable probe base is mounted onto the 
स्लॉटेड लाइन द स्कीमेटिक डायग्राम दैट वी हैव शोन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर देयर नाउ वी हैव पार्ट बी ऑफ दिस फिगर टू शो दिस मच ऑफ कंपोनेंट ओनली दिस कंपोनेंट इज कॉल्ड एज फिक्स बोर्ड बैंड ट्यूनेबल प्रोब हियर वेर एज वी हैव पार्ट सी ऑफ द फिगर इन द पार्ट सी ऑफ द फिगर यू कैन सी ट्यूनेबल वेव गाइड डिटेक्टर वेर एज इन टू द लास्ट पार्ट दैट इट इज द पार्ट डी ऑफ द फिगर वी हैव फिक्सड वेव गाइड Fixed waveguide match detector mount here. So these are the various views with respect to the tunable detector here. So this can be used into the practical setups while working on to the microwave engineering experiments here. So by the next lecture we shall continue more in the chapter to see. how exactly the vswr can be measured vswr standing for the voltage standing wave ratio so the title of the topic it will be vswr measurement here so i hope you enjoy learning the microwave engineering details and the topics for more such information the problems to practice and the concepts to learn you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you